In this video, I'll finish building the gantry by building the lower cross member and attaching the Y and X axis lead screws. Here I am attaching the upright spines to the gantry extrusion. Now I'll build the lower gantry cross member. Place the bracket on top and install the fasteners and nuts. Leave all of these fasteners loose for this step. Place the cross member between the uprights and install the fasteners. Tighten these fasteners on both uprights. This sets the width between the uprights for the cross member. Next, we'll lock in this width by tightening all the fasteners in the lower cross member brackets. Now that we have the width set, we can set the height. We will need to loosen these fasteners again. I have tilted the lead nut so I can see the moment that the mating surface touches down. Tighten all of these fasteners and repeat this process for the other side. Now attach both Y-axis lead nuts to the lower cross member. It was about this point that I noticed that the table was sagging. Now for the x-axis lead screw. I will carefully thread into the nut as I'm starting the lead screw on the backlash side of the nut. Pass the lead screw through the other bearing block. Add the thrush washer assembly. Next, attach the coupler to the lead screw.
Nest the motor side of the coupler into place. Slide the stepper into the coupler. Attach the stepper to the motor mount. Next, tighten the coupler onto the motor shaft. Now we'll install the tensioner assembly onto the x-axis. First add the tensioner plate, then the thrust bearings, and last add the shaft collar with the smooth side in. Pull out as much potential backlash as you can and tighten the collar. Then use a tensioner plate to take out any additional backlash. Now we can tighten the x-axis lead nut. I can now cut off the lead screw. I left it a bit long and we'll use a grinder to get this closer later. This offcut will become the Z-axis lead screw. In the next video, I will build the Z-axis and install it onto the gantry.